Landscape Futures is as much about people as it is about you know the basic resources. It's about how much economic activity can you generate and maintain in the long term from a particular area. People look out and say, oh, you know, I've got problems with pests, you know, I've got weeds and I've got feral animals, but I want to remain productive. So they, they set themselves objectives. And so what our job is, is look at all of those objectives, ask the question, well, is it, is it feasible to actually do what they are aiming to do? If they said, well, we're going to, we want to revegetate 5% of the area. Now we've got, you know, 1.2 million hectares in our region. Which 5% do we look at? If you have a look around, there's some things that we've done and we can see we should have done better. And we've got some really big consequences here, you know. Rates of soil loss are still exceed the rates of soil formation, for example. It's really about saying, well, actually, you know, it can be better, but it will be different. While we have concerns, for example, about climate change and how that's going to affect us, you can actually meet the, most of the objectives that people and regions set themselves, the biggest changes and the way in which the landscape looks, it's going to look like and how it's going to function into the future are not going to be affected by, they will be affected by climate change, but the biggest impact are the decisions we make today. The decisions we make today about what we do where on the landscape in terms of revegetation, in terms of how we practice agriculture, where we decide to you know, maintain cover or increase cover, or where we decide to, uh, to look after in endangered species. That is what decides what the landscape is going to look like in the 30, 40, 50, 100 year time scale.